Here we go again, back in the first day. <laughs> Alright. Anything new here? Uh, it says new. Wait, let me see. Anything here? No, okay. Let's go to school again. Again, back to school, and well, we can talk to Tiger this time. Why not? The third cycle. Will we ever stop the moon from crashing into, you know, the city? Maybe not. We have to gather some masks, maybe. A relaxed morning greeting does not be befit a teacher. Well, it is Fujine after all. Looking sharp really isn't like her, so it would bother me if she did. Fujine noticed me incli uh, uh, incli uh, inclining, inclining, right? Inclining, inclining. My head in doubt. Here we are strictly teacher and student, but it's just before homeroom and class hasn't started yet. Yeah. We see each other all the time and know each other's problems all too well. In that sense, you could even call it an ideal teacher-student relationship where nothing needs to be hidden. Well, no you couldn't. Being like siblings is a bit too close. Ujine keeps lamenting, but she doesn't sound very serious. I suppose that's why students find her easy to approach for all sorts of advice. It's one of her virtues. Early morning at school and this is what we end up discussing. All of a sudden a figure walks past like a shadow. This is Kuzuki, the strict ethics teacher. It's said that the students admire him more than every uh, more of every year they spend in the school, and I was no exception. As I went to my third year, I began to appreciate his style. あと定例の教職会議がいつになってました。今日の夕刻です。3年の進路指導のこともあります。わかりました。進路は大変ですね。でも、クズキ先生はお教え子さんたちに慕われてますから。Fujine is holding a very professional conversation. I almost instinctively rub my eyes to make sure I'm not dreaming. Hmm. I don't, I, is it just me or is Kuzuki sound different? Maybe it's just me, I don't know. And don't just dump it on me. But I can't horse around like usual in front of Kuzuki. Kuzuki-sensei Yep, as long as you don't do your weird martial arts against me, then you're fine. <laughs> Lucy here heads towards the, uh, the classroom. The moment his slim figure disappears down the hallway, the two of, uh, two of us breathe a collective sigh of relief, and she pats me on the shoulder. Yeah, <laughs> The idea of being called a girl apparently pleases her, so she repeats it a few times. 
そんなダメな子に育てられたんだから俺もダメな子なんだろうか It looks like we wasted all of, all of the pre homeroom time on this. Ah, j i k a n d Hmm, Shiro, a dame no co janaiwa yo. Sa, kyo shi te ni k i m a s h o Oh, kyo a jikan ni mania unda. So ya! Nani. She dashes forward with odd battle cry. No way! What happened to the serious teacher just now? Hora, hora, mania wa nai to chikoku da zo! Emi yo ku! ダメなことかそれ以前にあまりにも正体不明すぎる。Okay. Ah、oh, no, Shinji. All right, we have to do the Shinji scene. We, do we get to punch him? Can we, can we just punch him? エミア、昼にしようぜ。And then I punch him in the face. For reasons unknown, Shinji came up to me and invited me to join him for lunch. Totally out of the blue, but it does happen a few times a year, so it's not that surprising. Oops, after not my box on the desk, anyway. Out? I guess he means the shops in Miyama. Sounds reckless, but it's not impossible to get back before fifth period if we hurry. たまにはいいかな。今日の弁当は俺が作ったもんだし、弁当は日頃の俺を兼ねてごとくにもらってもらえばいいし。お、珍しく話が早いじゃんか。よし、その素直さに免じて今日はとっておきの店を紹介してや
今朝もきちんと約束をしたとえー、知ったっけ今朝知ったホームルームの終わりに目があったじゃないかその後に俺が咳払いをすれば生徒会室エミアが咳払いをすれば教室という決まりだろうに、ね、Really? That's weird He shakes his head I'm really sorry. I didn't notice we had such a rule for these last three years. I didn't think he'd come up on natural gum time and time. See, I see, so that's how we've been deciding on the meeting place. I know, sir. My car, I just thought that I could do it. You know, the Kami Hitoe? Stilena. Tayasku Toppa Stilo, or my new Yuaretakua Naizo. Sparks start flying between the two of them, the fighting over Shiro. You see, his harem protagonist EX ability goes beyond gender. There's nothing spectacular going on, but it's an exciting battle nevertheless. I would rather take out my lunch and spectate as I'm eating, but then I'll be the only one full by the end of it. Uh, あ、信じは外食は諦める。それで釣り合いは取れるよな。お断りだね。外に旅に行くったら旅に行くんだよ。ほら、おごってやるから行こうぜ、エミア。終わったらそのまま町に繰り出そう。今日さ、ちょうど
I don't feel sorry for him. You know, normally if I didn't know who Shinji was, then maybe I would feel sorry for him. But uh, nope, nope. I don't. It, I don't forgive all his actions from the previous timelines. Damn. I really don't get it, but maybe there was something wrong with what I just said. Good. I mean, you know, again, if Shinji was like a normal person, then I mean, it'd be bad. But no, Shiro, I I'd rather uh, Shinji is like a horrible person. You know, he deserves to die. I'm I'm gonna be honest. I can't really understand Issei either. Even though he said he had no sympathy towards him, he claps his hands in silent prayer over Shinji's desk. Rest in peace. Or, well, for me anyway. I hope he burns in hell. The bell rings to the signal the end of lunch. We conclude our lunch in the council room and prepare for class, about to start in five minutes. Shinji's missing. Yep, he's dead. It seems he hasn't come back yet. Did I hear screaming again? I don't know. I thought you heard screaming. Maybe that's just normal, I don't know. Maybe people are just excited for class. Learning, hooray! Yeah, again. Who's doing what's happening? It wasn't just Issei who noticed something odd. Everyone in the class is looking out in the hallway to see what's going on. Yeah! <laughs> A crowd resembling a circus is approaching. Did you do something, Shinji? The tr the troop is uh, traveling down the hallway. It appears to include Shinji and many of his first year female admirers. They all have their lunch boxes and feeding Shinji. Okay. <laughs> Issei stands speechless. Shinji stops to boast. Oh, yeah? Also, apparently Shinji, yeah, I mean, it's mentioned in the first game, but Shinji also has a harem himself, you know? Shiro is not the only one with a harem, Shinji also has a harem, somehow. I don't know how he does it. There's, n there's not a single bone of his body that's likable, but apparently being an asshole attracts all the first year females? I don't know. I wonder, well, I mean, it's either, I mean, I can only think of, like, maybe a couple possibilities. Either he's using actual, like, Mato magic, you know? Like, he's not a mage himself, but he can, like, I saw, actually, when I think about it, I don't know if it's canon, but I remember seeing, um, watching the Heaven's Feel movies, you know? And I saw him actually make, a, like, a chemical, right? Make potions and everything. So he probably can make, like, certain types of magic potions, even though he, he himself isn't, like, a magus or anything, right? Um, either that, or maybe he's just rich, you know? He is from, like, a, you know, a magical family. They do own a mansion and everything. Maybe he has allowance from Zoken. But maybe he is like, you know, he did talk about going to the pasta shop and everything, right? He's like, oh, I, I can... Why, why are you wasting, like, your money on plebeian food? Why not buy very expensive stuff, I guess? He's, like, rich. But either it's money or just, you know, weird magic powers that he's using. To make all these fangirls for him. Or maybe all these fangirls are just crazy. I don't know. Just like a crazy world where Shinji is actually popular. I don't know, anyway. He just starts to shake. Shinji's mood is already maxed. Double X. Wow, the whole Shinji Circus troupe. Is it a trope? Troupe? Troupe? I don't know how to actually say that word. Troop? Troupe? You know, the circus act? Uh, runs away merrily down the hallway. I'm very certain they rehearsed all this beforehand. 
藤村先生には、ホムラハラの三大仏敵を始末してくると告げておいてくれ。Just three public enemies. I mean, probably the other one's Tosaka, but who's the third one? And with incredible speed, Issei follows after them. But even then, being an active member of the student council, he does not run. His walking is already surpassed running. Speed walking. No running in the halls. He's very lawful neutral. The bell announces the start of the fifth period. Four months before graduation, Ryudo Issei, for the first time in his life, has missed the class. Oh no. Okay, we had fun, fun times with Ryudo and Shinji. I mean, oh, you can actually, yeah. I mean, I guess that, even though that's probably the same as well. So, I guess we can probably skip this part actually. Right. Okay. And I guess there's nothing new. Can we go for what they did? They said they did mention the game mention anyway that we can go to the big bridge, right? Yeah, we can go here. Okay, I don't know why they didn't show us. They didn't show like new, so I, didn't, I thought there was no scene. So we can't go over here. Crossing the bridge, I head over to Shinto. There's nobody on the pedestrian walkway at this hour. Night with no cars on the roadway, the sound, the breeze from the sea echoes around me. Went with Saber and Tosca to Shinto, didn't I? A single word exchanged between us, anxious about、uh, being led to some unknown place, but at the same time, welcoming the new adventure. How do I feel now? Everyone knows there's something strange going on. Something strange in your neighborhood. Oh, what was that? It was a weird, like, red thing. Was it just a light or. I don't know. Is there? Maybe, maybe there's like a roof, you know, rooftop light thing. You know, for like、uh, landing helicopters or something. I don't know. What's weird is that I'm not knowing what's right or wrong. I have settled in the reopened Holy Grail War. <laughs> There's no reason to fight. Therefore, there's no risk of dying. Mutual hatred and spite that, ca that causes ruin, however. Oh, the knee! What just happened? An instant. I probably could not comprehend what happens to the very end. Oh. Shinji d i e or not Shinji, well, I guess I was just, I was still stuck on Shinji dying. I wanted Shinji to die, but Shiro dies, that's what I'm trying to say. Shiro dies yet again. Ramaya is very, how very nostalgic. I collapse on the railing. Streams of blood and life force are gushing out of me. Nothing can save me now. This is a lethal wound, almost the same as instant death. Unconsciously, my dying eyes grab onto the image. No reason to fight, no fear of death, eh? His eyes score me with this foolishness. Who killed us? Say nothing, he knocked a fatal arrow. Hmm. Arrows, eh? I mean, I can't think of Archer. Archer killing us again? I know he was like really wanted to kill us in the, you know, the、L、unlimited blade works, Rob. But he's trying to kill us again? That's weird. Unable to dodge a block, instant death, and already assured. The second arrow cut. Came towards me and shot me in the head. Oh, hey, it is Archer. Why are you killing me? What are you doing? Archer. And we didn't see him like this whole time, and yet he appears now, and then dead bad head. He kills me now, apparently. For some reason. Okay. The road to Shinto is blocked by a sniper. There's no choice but to defeat this enemy. Um, okay. And how exactly do I do that? <laughs> I don't know. Oh, it, ooh, it, ooh, Heavens Feel Black Knight 2. Whoa, what was that? Weird. Okay, someone just wrapped up in chains. Long hair. My awakenings always begin with anguish. I fall from a sunless abyss to sunlit ground. I go from darkness to light. It isn't much different than being born through a birth canal. A spark of life somehow ignites in my dying body, rekindling consciousness in this world once again. I, I writhe in sharp pain. The moment I am reborn, the blood circulation, bone joints, nervous system, internal organs, everything I need to live generates pain. I'm alive to suffer. My already fried brain searches for normality within its damaged state, able to start functioning only through pain. In short, 
My body finally gains human thought through agony. It feels as if I've been multiplied into a hundred people, all of whom have been mixed on the pallet. Whatever clear identity I had is gone, as the countless indistinguishable beings I have become melt together. To be resurrected from nothingness demands that much of a price. That chaos, that feeling that I've ceased to be anything absorbs and assimilates even my agony. My ego is gone. Why be reborn? Why do I have to go through this? Even those questions become things of the past. I've attained the state of no self. It is a pure paradise with neither happiness nor sorrow. One that will never bear fruit. But just one thing alone is painful. Tears come down my cheeks. In the depths of this perfected land, why am I? Why am I still connected to something so beautiful? Whoop. Weep. Okay. And are we back? Once again, the first day begins. Oh, we're back to being Bazaar, I, I think. Actually. The woman had parted ways and my lovely master, Lady Bazette, lies sleeping in the sofa. Oh, oh, okay. I think we're the servant, right? Right, so it appears she's dead, actually. The reason is obvious. She had her heart pierced by the servant's saber right in front of the church. Then she'll start breathing again eventually. There's no need to bother waking her up or burying her. All I have to do is guard this place as her servant. You know, maybe like, you know, use a black marker, draw funny symbols on her face or something. I don't know. Honest my own desires while never heeding the desires of others, that's me. I'm the kind of servant that puts my own pleasure first. But I engage because there's some old, good old fashioned necrophilia. Oh, okay. That's what you're into? Alright. So it's, so it's kind of weird though, this is like a time loop. Bazette is also having a time loop, I guess. Weird. So, I mean. Hmm. But the servant does remember that she was killed. And now they're waking back up here? I don't know, anyway. The usual me would start eating her midway through the D without thinking, and the room would be a mess before I realized it. Ah, yes. Like, literally eat her. Eat ass, anyway. Of course, I only do that if she wasn't my master. If she were to wake up while I'm doing her, she'd be a pain in the ass to do it later. Okay. I'm used to getting hated and killed, but getting cried at? Well, that isn't love. Because I have nothing else to do, I start to kill time a simple way. And by the way, there is like... Because remember the real Tunnel version, actually. I guess, I don't know if there was a way, but there was like, um... Like, a, a bit of censorship, not only in the H scenes, but also in the language, I guess. Um, which I guess in the newest patch, which I didn't have at the time, they do have like an option to toggle it, right? So there was definitely like harsher language in the Ryuta Nova version that you could have toggled with the patch, but uh, at the time it wasn't available, or at least I didn't know how to, I guess. But uh, in this version in Hollow Anoraxia, there is like a uh, yeah, I saw I just look at the window here. There's an option to toggle the mature language, and I I kept the mature language, so that's why he's talking about necrophilia and doing her while she's sort of dead, I guess. I don't know. Anyway, since I have nothing else to do, I start to kill time in a simple way. Click click click. Click, 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 click. I slide the panels around, match to the ticking of the clock. Speeding up the tempo, I become uh, seriously focused on the game. I heard a sultry breath from the sofa. Okay, there's Bazette and her, like, I guess, full sprite. Lightly shaking her head, Bazette glares at me as if it her enemy. <laughs> Yeah, Serbert just remembers everything. Yeah, Serbert just remembers everything. Same thing that you said last time, Okay, so there's there isn't gonna be like a endless eight scenario, you know? じゃあまあ、早速外に出て聖杯戦争の続きと行こう。待ちなさい。この妖怪以前のことは曖昧ですが、その後のことは全て覚えている。私とあなたが敵マスターに敗れ、殺されたことも<笑> 
それはそれは肝心なことは覚えてないくせにどうでもいいことは覚えてるんだねでそれがどうした今生きてるんだからいいじゃねえか細かいことは気にすんなよよくはないこんな不条理放っておいたままでいられるものですか答えなさいサーバント私たちは倒されたそれがなぜこうして生きているのですどうしてって生き返ったからだろうま厳密に言うと1日目の夜に戻ってるってことだけどなんスタンダード you know time loop stuff エルサイカングルバザー shows no signs of surprise I guess she must have been thinking over what happened from the moment she woke up. I gotta admit, now that ability of hers is a real talent. The problem is, she doesn't realize she has that gift.、Eh, more like she just looks down on herself. Oh well, not like I'm in any position to criticize her in that front. いずれかの魔法が絡むあなたはその奇跡を可能とする英霊だというのですかうん。Why are you looking at me like that? You don't believe me? No, actually, you're making fun of me, no doubt about it. No, ma'am, little lowly little old me can't do something that friggin' nuts. まあ、その真似事をしてると思ってくれればいい。あんたは死んでも生き返れる。俺と契約している限り何度だってやり直せる誰に破れようがこうしてここから仕切り直しができるってわけだ I guess he's confirming it then This is where This is why we've been having these weird time loops In that case, right? But it's weird because then You know in Shiro's world I, guess, I mean there's Bazette and there's Shiro But in Shiro's world the Holy Grail War is already over And this is like taking place during the fifth Holy Grail War, right? So that's kind of weird And also I remember we're fighting like the Elderfeld sisters Which is like a def definitely like a di different like parallel dimension So we're not in the same world as Shiro right now in the timeline Anyway, it's very confusing But uh But we know that this ability comes from this particular servant, I guess The fact that there is time loot in the first place I don't know if I do ループしているということねどんな宝具かは見当がつかないけどとにかくあなたは夜になれば蘇生いえ死んだ場合生きていた頃のこの場所にスキップしてしまう結果私たちはまだ生きているから死から蘇生する運命に介入改ざんするタイプの宝具ですか確かに英霊を名乗るにふさわしい力だわ。Would you say Alter's Fate? You know? Considering the Fate series? 本人がどんなに弱くても納得がいく。Anyway. So you couldn't accept that I was that weak, huh? Okay. So I did get killed without showing any of my good points. Anyway, we'll get fed up after that. そういうわけだ。だから安心してやられてくれ。なあ、けど、殺されるのはなるだけ夜がいい。俺は夜でないと戦えないんだ。昼間はあんまり調子が出ないたちでさ。ループの条件は夜中でなければならないということですね。確かにそれぐらいの弱点がなければ強力すぎる方具だわ。Gotta make sure to balance it. I guess. It's as if this is like a fighting game or something. Well, boss, you're getting a few things wrong here. Whatever. Because it all comes down the same thing. いいでしょう。行動を起こすのは夜中だけとします。日中はここで眠りますから、あなたも勝手な行動は控えるように。あいよ。けどあんたこそさ、昼間は決して外に出てくれるな。俺日中は本当に弱いんだ。マスターが守ってくれなきゃ簡単に殺されちまうからな。わかりました。何か。著しく立場が逆な気がしますがあなたの特性は把握しましたから戦闘能力こそ皆無ですが特殊能力は他に類を見ないものです戦闘は私が行いますからあなたはその得意な宝具で聖杯戦争をフォローしてくれればいい、hmm. I know it feels pretty standard like pretty standard like Holy Grail War you know 
you know, if if I if we didn't really see any of the Shiro scenes, you know, this would be pretty 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 standard story. But because Shiro's involved, you know, and their whole like characters in Fairy Stay Nights, it's kind of like weird. It's kind of complicated. I don't know. Hmm. But uh, but also yeah, they're like they're like relationship. Also, also kind of reminds me of I love um, uh, Kuzuki and Caster actually, because Kuzuki is like the main combatant, you know, and Caster is in the back being support as well. At least they're like a whole dynamic. Combat wise, kind of similar. So, yeah, that's got a kid. Joke on Sina Gamasa. What about this? Scusi, what do I do? Saban to Niva Catena to Dangan de Giga, Sono Kinina, Shome Grain. Ano Kaka de Disco? Sent to me, you eat it. Anatta Niva Nanimo Kitai Stimas. Anatta was so connie to Daki. Laku de Ekedo. それじゃあいつまでたっても勝てないぜマスターからサーバントを引き離すのも何度もうまくいくとは思えないし When it comes down to it, fighting the Holy Grail War means beating a servant Without taking down a servant, you're not gonna be able to kill its master Except there's no way human beings gonna be able to match up to a servant That's why I'm saying I'll help her out, even though I really don't want to bother But Okay, you're just that confident. But Zed declares his unshakable confidence. She, yeah, I mentioned before, uh, she does mention, uh, she does remind me of a certain character from King of Fighters. That, that character was Vanessa. Yeah, Vanessa. You know, she's kind of similar, right? And also her fighting style, where she like puts on gloves and punches stuff. A boxer type. Kinda of cool, I like her. Uh, now that's a surprise. I thought I was immune to these things, but that one just sent a chill down my spine. Sorry, Yuri. Question got him. Kurosara Tano got Yuri. Nara, nando demo yomi gaer. To i mashita ga. Sore wa nanda ka no daishou ga hitsuyo na no desu ka. Tatoeba, watashi no majutsu kairo ga ushinaware te iku to ka. Anata no hougu ni wa shiyou kaisu ga kimatte iru to ka. Hmm? Yo. Sounds very OP. Right, となるとその残る問題は一つだけですがいえここまで好条件だというのにそんな不満を口にするなど何を考えているのか私はんなんだよいきなり他に聞きたいことでもあんのかその詰まらないことを聞くのですが死亡した場合こうして蘇生できるのは素晴らしい。反則と言っていい特典でしょう。ですが、その蘇生する際のあの痛みは消せないものなのでしょうか。いくら死から逃れるためとはいえ、この先もあの痛みを通過するかと思うと、身の足を
蘇生の代償なんですからあの程度の攻めく耐え抜いてみせましょうそうそうこの先何度もお世話になるだろうし今のうちに受け属性作っとけよ<笑>そう何度も殺されてたまるものですか次に殺されるのはセイバーのサーバントだ私がされたようにあの胸を貫いてみせますああそれでこそ俺のマスターだんじゃあまあそのやる気が燃えてるうちに聖杯戦争を続けるとしようか I stopped talking in for the door Honestly I don't give a shit about the whole girl war but I'm also a sore loser I want to find and kill my enemies now right now I'll kill those bastards that hurt me I'll kill those bastards that didn't do anything to stop them I'll kill everything I'll murder every single living human I see. If I don't, I'm not gonna be able to keep my sa- in, in- keep my insanity. Okay, he wants to keep his insanity. If I don't, I'll be able to keep myself from going sane. Okay. I swallow down my heart as it threatens to escape my chest, and turn back towards Bazet. Maybe my thirst for blood just now remind her of something. Bazaar is looking at me the same way as when she accused me of killing the people in that bloody house. Don't even have to bother wondering why. You forgot because you didn't want to remember. A question filled with hostility. To that I finally answer, grinning like a little girl waiting for her sweetheart. Avenger. Avenger. Probably is very, you know, surprising and shocking to someone that would be playing this game the first time, but, well, to be honest, Avenger is kind of like, again, a lot of little spoilers in Fate Grand Order. Avenger is not actually all that special of a class, because actually there's a ton of Avengers in Fate Go, but anyway. But he, I guess he's Avenger. A class that shouldn't exist. Its name proclaimed with hatred and joy. Avenger. Okay. She's attacking an e extremely fast combination. A right straight that actually made me feel sorry for the enemy mercilessly crushes the monster's skull. Hard to believe it came from a human being. Probably out of the range for having had 10 of their pals killed already, more prey come leaping at her. The moment right after she punches with her right fist, Curse Claws take the opportunity to strike her seemingly un immovable position. Bam, she dodges just by lightly turning her head, while simultaneously driving her right leg to the monster's head. Sharp and heavy, the head is blown off like a ripe tomato. Not even bothering to visually confirm that, Bazette turns around to face the newcomers arriving from behind, once again intercepting them with lethal timing. What are they fighting? Was that like beast things? It's almost as if she were a spinning top fitted with a blade. Responding in every direction, clearing the attackers away, a deadly dance that shows no mercy for its target. I was doing pretty well on my own, even while watching her in fascination, but while I was slicing one of these guys, Bazette pulverized around three. And I mean literally pulverized. With those skinny legs and her fists, she's totally scattering flesh and cutting through bone. Seriously, I'm impressed. The big human hand-in-hand -hand combat would improve this much. Seems like there are runes of hardening carved on her fists, legs, knees, and toes, but the basic bodywork for that must have been art and art perfected by the, for use by human beings. Way different from us when we go berserk, letting instinct take care of the rest. Bazette's technique is a legacy of the old days of blood and sweat. How many years of effort went to being able to use it? I mean, she's a girl. Oops, a, a mature grown-up woman. Were there other things she should be learning? Guess not. Okay. These monsters don't match for the walking weapon by the name of Bazette. They're no better than half the sheep. Pack of game to be hunted. Homer, stop, stop, they're already dead. Homer? Is that like a reference to the Bible? I don't know. By the way, what, what the heck's a Homer? I mean, it's definitely not a reference to the Simpsons. I don't think. So 
Sighing heavily, Bazette puts away her leather gloves. Miss Walking Weapon, what the hell? You beat almost 20 monsters to death and all you can do at the end is sigh? ちせいは飛ぼしく人間を殺すという単一性能しかありませんが大量に刺激するには適している私たちの知らないマスターではない八人目の魔術師がいるのは確かなようだこんな使い魔を使って無差別に人を襲う魔術師など放置できないあな
アンリマユ。うん。どこぞの古びた風習の名前だよ。We heard that name before in Face A9? アングラマユ。アングラマユアングラマユ Yeah, there only needs to hide it. First off, it wasn't that big of a deal, so I just gave her a straight answer. Angry Man Juice. Yes.、Mm. Is, it the name of, is it the name of a hero? Or is it fit to be a hero? Is it the name you give it to a person to begin with? Yeah, yeah, your face just telling me all of the above. I understand how my dear master feels. It's not as if I live up to my namesake. Anger Mayu. I remember from Heaven Sue in particular, you know, Kirei wanted Anger Mayu to be, you know, formed and everything. The name of the most powerful demon in ancient Persia. The greatest nemesis in Zoroastrianism, embracing all evil. I kept fighting for 9,000 years against the god of light, guardian of the good of humanity. The god of evil, you could say. The bad part is the freaking huge scale. Are we seeing half of the entire world? Give me a break. This name is a bother. Honestly, something of a smaller genre, say the god of desks or pots, would have been much better fit. The tale of Zoroastrianism revolves around the discord caused by the two gods of good and evil. It's the first religion to introduce the duality of angels and demons. Of course, I've never seen an angel in my life, and I'm not exactly acquaintances with any demons. I was just one villager that idolized those teachings. Apparently, just one good deed was enough for me to get treated like a hero and elevated to heroic spirit status after death. <laughs> たまたま持ってる属性がそいつに近かったから、仮名として付けられただけだろう。ザハウレス、イズウィール。英霊としての格は低いし、知っての通り、あまり役に立たない三流だ。それはとっくに承知しています。今さら弁解してもらうことでもありません。<笑> That's things, master. しかし、アンリマユ。いえ、私の呼び出したサーバントは、確か。Had a more different endearing name. Hmm, Lancer. I see Lancer. b u z e f r a g a Magremets wondered to herself. Not really, she adds quietly. Yeah, you're being really obvious. That's some other guy on your mind. Okay, so I already, already knew that, but who thought you'd be so picky about your servants, too? I、uh, saw、so、our relationship was just a compromise. I was being relatively serious about it, too. Oh well, I'm over it. どんな男が好みなんだあんたな何を言い出しますか男性の好みなんて話していなかったでしょ私はただあなたとかの英霊との違いを考えていただけです、right. だからそれが男の話だっていうの使い魔なんざ術者の好みが第一なんだから女のマスターが色男を呼ぶのは当然じゃねえかあ、oh, yes that's how it works I guess あ何それとも女の英霊でも呼ぶ気だったのか。Maybe Yuri? そりゃ深いな。まさか趣味と実益を兼ねた男装だったとは。私はそのような市場は挟みません。あなたと契約したのは、それが正しいと私が判断したからです。そこに、異性の感情など挟まない。ですが。誤解を招く物言いだったことも認めましょう。私は確かにあなた以外の英霊に執着していた。そう、それそれ、そこまで白状したなら聞かせろよ。得るもんじゃなし、隠し事は極力潰していこう。で、マスター、あんたもともとどこの英霊を呼び出そうとしてたんだ呼び出そうというのは。正しくはありません私にはかの英霊を召喚できる保証はなかったし私自身
there's no guarantee. Once you spend the same quartz, you don't exactly get the server you want, right? <laughs> she starts trailing off. Must be going some uh, going over some old memories. The emotional state of the woman standing in front of me is regressing fast, like she's berating herself. どうでしょう。父は言いました。お前は作業のように一日を過ごすのだな、と。一つだけ夢中になったものがあった。本当にどうしてそれだけが特別だったのか。今でもわからない。家の書斎でたまたま手にした私の国ならどこにでもある昔話を読んだ時、私はとても悲しかった。昔話ね。うん。それが。Someone she didn't believe in but still wanted to meet. One of the many phantasms that young children dream of and forget in maturity. How's the way in great number, huh? <laughs> して、褒め Ah yes, and so she fell in love with a fictional character. To be fair, the desire to save someone exists in all human beings. That much I can admit. Heck, I can never I can even feel it myself. Now, the definition of savings can be different from person to person, but as long as that desire is just a wish, it's not something that others can condemn. The problem here though It'd be okay to wish to save him. Is that the little girl didn't understand something that obvious? There's Bazette who turned something that anybody can do into a wish. And there's the mythical hero, the only one the little girl looked up to. <laughs> I take back the I'm over it. Bastard. Next time I meet you, you're dead meat. <laughs> Wicked laughter. Honestly, the idea of using one fairy tale against another is damn amusing. <laughs>今のは英霊を召喚するとしたら誰を選ぶかという話でしょう。もし彼の英雄を呼び出せる職場があったのなら、私には召喚する動機があったという話です。でも結局呼び出したのは俺みたいな半端者だったわけだ。マスターも男運
Well, that's easy. What? Nuts. She turned the tables on me. Actually, like my master. Well, there's no wish I want to make using the Holy Grail. Sadly enough, there's just one thing that I voluntarily engross myself in these days. <laughs> the sliding puzzle? <laughs> she's looking at me like a clueless idiot. When we get back to our hideout, she's gonna find that the puzzle I was working on and yell at me for a more serious answer. Oh, hey. Nini, Nini. Archer again? <laughs> I am the bone of my sword. But that is quick to react. She picks up rock off the ground and throwing it over her shoulder, runs towards the center building without so as much as, as asking me to follow. Though being as I am, I chase after Bazette. However, it's still bugging me. Whose one is that? Bazette is carrying some kind of a tube. I thought that surely there's a weapon inside, but she didn't take it with her when that last free-for-all happened. I can't help but wonder what about this funny container when it's being carried right in front of me. You see, it's soup. It's a container for like some delicious soup. Oh, okay. But Zed's looking for the back entrance of the building. From what I can tell, she's pretty tense. I'm being persistent too. Maybe my sincerity got through to her. But Zed starts moving and shows me the container. Length of observation, approximately one minute. After showing it to me... Oops, pissed her off. Wrinkles forming on her forehead, she reluctantly takes the lid off. Okay, it's some um, ball. Several balls, actually. Plop out. Size-wise, they're about the same as track and field shots. About the same mass, I guess. Looks like it hold no more than five, but right now, they're only three. I see, I see. It all makes sense now that she's showing me what's inside. You think she was carrying this relic? I tremble in your presence, Bazef Ragamaremets. By the way... What are those? <laughs> the mystery had only deepened. She puts the spheres back inside and remounts the cylinder on her back. So she won't explain her trump card to someone she can't trust, I see. Now moving on. <laughs> I tell her the objective truth as a sort of my keen eyes. But then sobs down her tracks, turning around slowly like a rusted doll. Now, this is more like it. I like it when I'm talked down to. <laughs> this is how a master and servant should be. The anger she's reading could end up with me dead if she figures I'll revive anyway. Alright. What a duel. <laughs>